You, you're gonna edit, right, if I say some dumb shit. 1971. I think people were wearing bell bottoms and they had sideburns. Well, I do a lot of video editing and cuddling my iguana. I went down a hill on a bike without brakes um, when I was eight years old in France and I split my head open, which is where this big boy here comes from. Um, that was kind of exhilarating, yet quite scary. Being on stage, so more like moments. Rachmaninoff as pianist, closely followed by, by Glenn Gould. If I had to do two, I would say B minor mass, Bach's B minor mass, and the Rite of Spring. Well, you have to say Bach. I mean, he's just really the king. But my favorite living composer would be probably Matthew Heinzen, the Australian. Probably Justin Trudeau. Make music, drink wine, and be nice to animals. Oh, uh, I have kind of a crazy memory. Post-its? The wheel? <laughs> when the express train comes in to like 34th Street Station and the squealing of those brakes, I think that's like, that's, that's what I imagine hell to be like. Probably paleontology. <laughs> I don't really do mornings. I don't have a driver's license. It's maybe something I should do. Well, I had a lot of them. I think for a while I wanted to be a boxer when I was like five. I think I got in a lot of scrap heaps at kindergarten. And for a while I wanted to be a forest ranger. And then I wanted to have something to do with animals like conservation or something. Yeah, I mean, there, there have been a lot of things, but I don't think I could ever have done anything that wasn't music for very long. Red wine. And since I'm a knight of Burgundy, I should probably say Burgundy red wine. Definitely half full. I think more than half full, actually. I guess Olympic hockey, but not this year, because Canada didn't win. We got bronze. I don't know, it seems just that things sort of seem to have happened as they should. I don't know if I'd necessarily change anything at this point. Should I say Batman? No, <laughs> not Batman. Well, hopefully the sort of straggly wet hair lounging around in the bathrobe, um, slightly hung over side. <laughs> um, fearlessness, uh, never being afraid to try anything new, maybe. And I think also a smattering of luck. Printed, well, you told me that one where I was gay, remember? I don't know, a couple of times I think I've been um, supposed to be gay. Um, there was, an uh, article in a Scottish newspaper that quoted me with all these ridiculously silly airhead quotes and I'd never even spoken to anyone in Scotland. <laughs> um, rumors, I don't know, N nothing too bad. Um, probably the album with Matthew Heinsohn's concerto with the Royal Phil, um, that was a premiere recording, great concerto and I was really pleased to be able to get it out there into the world. Oh, sure. <laughs> well, I tend to be pretty optimistic about the future of classical because I think that it's something that people come to later in life, which is why a lot of folks complain about the audiences being old or blue-haired or whatever, but there's, there's a complexity to it that, that I think becomes more and more necessary as one gets older and also as as the world around us gets more and more hectic and insane. Um, and I think it's, it's an art form that will always be there.